All right, so I'm back out here, back at it, working on the final sanding of the cab uh, to prep for primer and paint. Uh, so I ran out of sandpaper the last time I was out here, so I had to get some more, and uh, today should be able to finish the sanding after many, many hours of sanding. So looking forward to that. So today, working on final prep, and hopefully if all goes well, uh, painting the cab. Uh, so this video will kind of be a combination of a couple weeks worth of work. Um, just really, this restoration's really on a budget, both of money and of time. So uh, any of the times where I've had something not quite go right, it really sets me back a lot um, as far as the schedule goes. So fingers crossed. If all goes well, hopefully paint on the cab today. There were a lot of little uh, chips in the paint on the front here. So I went over those with glazing putty. Uh, it's dry now, so I'm gonna sand them out. Then I'm gonna go sand the uh, compartment doors I was working on uh, in the previous video, and then everything should be good to paint. Okay, here we are uh, two days later, and uh, as usual with this project, uh, things didn't quite go to plan, so I wasn't able to get it uh, painted when I was out here. Uh, I did get a coat of primer on it, so uh, today I'm going to throw another coat of primer on. I'm still within the uh, window to put more coats on, so one more coat of primer, and then uh, definitely getting red on the cab today. So the paint that I'm using is a uh, restoration shop brand acrylic urethane. Uh, it's another American made product which I'm a big fan of and uh, it's slightly cheaper than uh, like the economy line from PPG but uh, not so much that you question the quality. Um, I did read a bunch of reviews online of this brand and they're all really good and uh, a lot of people that have used it multiple times and had really good results. Another little product uh, that I picked up is this little uh, can lid that uh, it locks down on the top of the can and it has a little uh, paddle on the inside so you can mix up the paint and uh, it's done a really good job. Uh, this lid has been on this can since last winter and it kept the paint good. Uh, all this time 
and I had no issues with it, you know, using it uh, here the last month or two. Uh, so this paint's a four to one mix with the uh, the paint and the uh, hardener they get with it. Uh, the paint comes pre-thinned, which is kind of convenient. Uh, I'm just gonna mix it up here. So then, these little mixing cups are pretty nice. See your different mix ratios there. Uh, so I'm going to find the four to one. And then you just measure out how many parts. So if you're going to fill it up to five, that'd be four parts of whatever you put up to five. And then from there, you go to the next five for the one part. And then if you have another part, you go over there. So pretty simple. These cups really make it a lot easier to mix up your different parts of your paints. Something that might sound kind of weird, but uh, there's a certain smell that these kind of paints have too. When I was in high school, um, my dad and I repainted my uh, Honda after I wrecked it, and we used the uh, PPG, uh, like their economy line of paint, and uh, this paint pretty much has the same smell to it, so I don't know if that's a indicator of the quality of the paint, but it works for me. Another important thing is these filters. Uh, when you pour it into the gun, catch any uh, debris or... Alright, so I have these doors tacked off, which is another important step because they've been sitting for a few days um, and being in a shed like this, um, there's always a chance of dust settling, more than likely, uh, just to get any dust or debris off of them. So they're tacked off, I have the paint mixed up, and we're gonna shoot the red.